you were ninja. Hey everybody, it's Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV. I'm continuing our coverage of the RSA Conference 2012 here in San Francisco. We've been walking the exhibitor floor, talking with a bunch of great businesses about different topics. Today, we're going to focus on malware. I'm here with Fred Go, the Director of Marketing for Dambala. Fred, what is malware? Uh, malware is a specific uh, software that gets installed on a, a PC that does any sorts of things. It can be a uh, financial uh, uh, information stealer. It can be a, uh, a password stealer, keystrokes, keystroke, capture keystrokes, or it can actually lay quiet and be sold off in botnets or other underground transactions to, to uh, uh, actually steal information, like uh, corporate, corporate information. I'm here with Jonathan Camp, the senior engineer for Norman Data Defense Systems. Jonathan, what can you tell us about malware? Well, malware is software simply that attempts to do something malicious to your computer. Um, by malicious, meaning it tries to do something that you wouldn't want it to do, uh, whether it's steal your credit card information, steal your banking password, uh, steal your StarCraft login or WarCraft login. And what does Norman Data Defense Systems do to protect us against malware? Okay, we're an antivirus company, so we have software that both protects the uh, end clients' uh, systems, and we also provide a whole suite of analysis tools to help the other uh, you know, banks and other industries actually analyze the software that's attacking their customers. And you're with John Bradshaw, the Senior Sales Engineer for Mandiant. John, tell us about malware. Well, malware is really only half the story and the compromises that we've investigated uh, as part of our incident response that we do at Mandiant. A lot of times what we found is malware might be the initial infection point using a remote access trojan to gain entry or through some infected file through a spear phishing type attack. Once the intruder has gained an initial foothold in the environment, then they are generally compromising credentials in that environment to gain further access through what we call lateral movement, where they will move through the environment and the movement they're doing is not using any type of malware whatsoever. So at that point, traditional security defenses tend to fail because antivirus intrusion detection systems aren't going to trigger on what is normal activity in the network. Malware is the probably the, the tool of choice for a lot of un, uh, uh, criminal activity now. So having a piece of malware uh, is easy to produce. They have the, the uh, do-it-yourself kits out on the internet that you can buy for $25 or $30. And you can spin up any kind of any kind of piece of malware that's network network, network aware, and can, can communicate can communicate out to uh, command and control sites. Okay. And what does Dambala do to protect against malware? So what we do is we uh, uh, look at your network traffic uh, and determine behavior of malware in your in your network. So either inbound uh, the suspicious files coming inbound, or actual malware activity trying to communicate outbound. Uh, in your network, so we see both ways. So we like customers to focus not just on the fact that they have to detect malware as far as, you know, is it coming in through remote access points or through initial infection points like a USB stick, but also what happens as a result of that malware landing on the system? What is the intent of the intruder in gaining access to that system and how are they going to move through the organization and what is it they're ultimately after? And what does Mandiant do to combat malware and also these lateral movements? Mandiant's been doing incident response for over a decade. Um, the incident responders have responded to some of the top breaches that have been out in the news um, in the past few years. That intelligence that they gain through these incident responses goes into Mandiant's products to detect the presence of the advanced persistent threat, which we define not as malware, but as a series of actors that are basically intending to gain entry uh, for either economic advantage, um, for you know the intent to steal information, and once they've gained that foothold, they want to stay there, they don't want to be detected, and they want to gain as many footholds into the organization as possible. 
that intelligence that we find from doing those incident responses, not just from the malware that we find in reverse engineer, but also from the footprints that they leave behind as they move laterally, becomes what we call indicators of compromise that our detection technology will look for throughout the enterprise in large scale, tens of thousands of systems, easily what we call swept in the environment and bring that information back and tell incident responders if there are any hits that indicate that somebody's where they shouldn't be. Right, sounds good. Secure Ninja Shorts are brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in information security and IT training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. SecureNinja.com, forging IT security experts. Yeah!